We start with athletics. Governing body World Athletics has voted to ban transgender women from competing in elite female competitions and tightened testosterone restrictions for other athletes. World Athletics President Sebastian Coe said that the decision to exclude transgender women who had gone through what he called male puberty was based on the overarching need to protect the female category. The new rules will also impact athletes with what is known as differences in sex development or DSD. One of the most famous cases of DSD is South Africa's two-time Olympic 800-meter winner Kasta Semenya who has XY chromosomes and blood testosterone levels in the male range. The council vote requires DSD athletes such as Semenya and Namibia's silver medalist Christine Mboma to take testosterone reducing medication and maintain low levels of the hormone for two years before they are cleared to compete. The news has elicited mixed reactions from the global sporting community. It's quite a loss for transgender people. And I think in Australia, we're feeling it very hard. We have just had two very bad weeks with the Posey Parker tour around Australia and everyone's worn very, very thin by it. And this ruling coming on the back of that has been pretty tough. Well, it's not a ban. It just actually moves to protect the female category to female competitors. And it was an excellent decision. But, you know, it's all the national athletic federations that we really need to thank for this as they pushed back against world athletics failed experiment to continue with testosterone reduction for males who identified as females in female sport.